There are two ways to transfer your file to Maso. First, you can put your G-code onto a USB flash drive and plug it into Maso. It will appear in the F6 load file page. Alternatively, you can drop your G-code file into Maso link and it will transfer it to the Maso USB flash drive for you. From the F6 screen, you can either double click the file you wish to load or highlight it and click load file. The file will now load into Maso and it will draw the toolpath on the screen for you to inspect before running. You can now go to the F3 screen and home the machine. Please note that if you want to change tools, please do it before you home the machine or wait until you are instructed to do so when you run your G-code file. Doing this out of sequence will cause your second tool change to get the wrong tool height. Next move to your X and Y zero points and zero the DROs for these axes. Place your probing block under the cutter and click the probing button to bring up the probing routine. It doesn't matter if the tool in the spindle is not the one you will be using as long as the tool number is different. Click the center square to begin Z height probing. You are now ready to run your G-code file. Go to the F2 screen and press the rewind button. This is important as the file will not run until you rewind it. Press cycle start to begin machining. If a tool change is needed, it will move to the tool change position. After you change the cutter, press cycle start. It will automatically probe and set the Z point for your new tool. Maso will then proceed with the program. If another tool change is needed, it will move to the tool change position, and again, after you change the tool, it will automatically set the new Z0 point for the cutter and continue the program. Once the program is complete, the machine will stop and your job is done.